This is day two on this project. I remade the outcap and installer last night. I wasn't understanding the paper correctly when I read it the first time. You don't need a computer necessarily running El Captain. You just need a computer that can run it. And so I used my 2012 model, which can run it, to make the new installer. And so I plugged it into the computer this morning. I turned the computer on. Okay. And I booted to the the disk and it was taking a ridiculous amount of time to load up. Like the bar wasn't even moving. It was just I thought it was froze again, but I just said, Well let me you know, let me give it its time and I went upstairs and did something else and I came back down and it said uh it said installing and it had the little bar going across and I was kind of surprised because the install doesn't go by itself you have to interface with it before it will start the installation so I don't I don't understand what what happened or where it installed to but it seems to have installed successfully so let's go ahead and get this set up And then uh, let's check and see where it installed to. I have a feeling that it may have installed over the Snow Leopard, which is not really a big deal because I can just reinstall the Snow Leopard, but I don't know. Unless maybe it picked up from. It picked up something that was left because I didn't reformat that partition, so maybe it just, I don't know what it did. I, I really have no idea. But there it is. We can, uh, Go ahead and eject this now. Okay, so the Snow Leopard disc is still there, and there's the El Captain disc. Okay, there it is. Startup disc, El Captain. So it looks like it did what I wanted it to do. Yeah, they're both still there. Well, let's go ahead and shut this thing down. And let's see if I get a dual boot when it comes back up. Hey, focus. We're not done with the video yet. taking some time here but just be patient let it do what it wants to do I have found even on other computers that no well, other Apple computers when you're working with the latest operating system it will support I find it's a little bit finicky and I think that's what we're going to see here, is that it's just a little bit flaky trying to get it to work. So, it looks like it did what I wanted it to do. We have El Captain, and then we have Snow Leopard. So let's see if this still works. That's a good sign. And as long as this doesn't turn into uh, El Captain once it's booted up, which it doesn't look like it, I think we're good. 
See how much faster that is? I tell you, these older systems were written so much better. It's unbelievable. And look at the buttons and everything. It's just so much nicer. So let's try the uh, Captain Partition though. It takes some time to get here, but it did eventually get here. I tried a dual boot once on my other 17 inch MacBook Pro from 2011 and I noticed the same thing. Once I had done the dual boot, the initial startup sequence takes a very long time to find the partitions on the drive. It always does it extremely reliably, but it, it doesn't do it quickly, which I don't understand. I guess we're going to see the same thing on this one. Okay, it's booted up now. It's not, it's not that slow. You know, it, it's taking its time, but it's working. And as long as it works, you know, I'm not gonna be upset about it. I don't, I, I don't like opening these things up. I know how to do it, but if it's gonna work and it's gonna work acceptably, which I, it seems like it is so far, I don't think it's worth risking opening it up to replace it with an SSD. It's got enough RAM in there. The drive is not original, so it's probably a newer, healthier model. So I just think I'm going to leave it alone. I'm not going to be doing anything crazy on this unit anyways. So if it takes a little bit longer to operate, then so be it. Um, it is working. It's working exactly as I wanted it to now. So at this point, we just have to go through and clean it up and uh, install some more software.